It'll be an all Marion County final as Fairmont Senior at North Marion Tangle tonight in the Class AA State Championship game. Will it be the Huskies who cap their historic season with a title? Or the Polar Bears who rise up again to claim their fourth championship in six years? Let's go! We'll find out together next. Let's go! Let's go! Is going to be nearest the bottom of your screen. And here's the kickoff from Peschel, and we're underway in the state championship game. It'll be Allers group. Partner out there returning that one over the 25 out to the 26-yard line. Perfectly in the first series. Allers to punt, just his eighth punt of the season. 40-yard average, high snap. Gets it out of there. Good coverage kick. Fry gets away from it, and it's a beauty. It rolls for the Polar Bears all the way down to the Husky 30-yard line. Standing back at the 36, Martin. Good spiraling kick. Pins hours to the near sideline. Ball goes out of bounds. Look at that eyes in it right at the 10 yard line. So Martin with a beauty came in at halftime of the university game the next game, the next week, and led the Polar Bears to that victory. White here pulls it. He's got a first down. He's got more. He's tripped up. Out around the 33 yard line. Carry of the season was a good one. Right here to throw, late pressure, out of the backfield, wide open, far sideline, Hours crosses midfield, and he is going to be pushed out of bounds, far side, but a big play, needing four yards from the 33-yard line, back to Hours, and he curls his way to a first down and more, tripped up by Fry at the 18-yard line, second down, 10 out of the pistol set, right here, screen to Johnson, makes the catch, Big Bigelow with a great block, Miner makes the tackle, and a flag comes in. <laughs> that we see out there blocking. That was very reminiscent. You see Bigelow wearing the 55 there of uh, one of the famous alums, Stills, Dante Stills. Touchdown, hours out of the Wildcat. Direct snap back to him, and he runs it in for the score for his 14th rushing touchdown of the season, and Fairmont Sr., Gets on the board on a 90-yard drive. Nice little creative play there. I like that. Direct snap under center. Bounces it right off the left side. Really impressive drive there from the Polar Bears. Right here. Takes the snap. Pumps. Being chased. Throws it late. Pass is intercepted at the 36-yard line. Josh Holden with the pick. Great defense. They just string white hair out. Make him scramble and look downfield. I'm not sure he even saw the defender right there when he let go of the pass. Big time turnover for North Mary. Just to eagle eyes. That was Dawson. All right, first and 10 from the 25 yard line. Right up the middle, there goes Hoffman. Hoffman with a nice block downfield from the receiver. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies of North Mary. What great work up front there. That hole was massive. And then you saw the speed right there of Hoffman turning it on once he broke through the crust. White here, surveys, three-man rush, throws it over the middle, and a strike caught at the 45-yard line, and a first down. Right. Runners ready. Nice hole for Hoffman. Hoffman protecting that football. Breaks the tackle. Here he comes over the 25, 30, and all the way out to the 37-yard line. Pass over the middle. It's intercepted. Canfield on the return. Tackled at the 32-yard line. So Miner tried to get it over top of Canfield and could not. And Logan Canfield with the interception. Time to throw. Miner looking at his receiver. Again, I don't think he even saw Canfield, who was just lurking there, reading his eyes. Jumped up, grabbed the ball for a big-time pick. So both quarterbacks have thrown an interception. This will be a fourth down and four. White here into the flat. Michael makes the catch. Michael has the first down. He might have more. Out of an ankle tackle. Inside the 10. Inside the five. Finally shoved out of bounds at the three. One quick snap. First and goal from the three. Quarterback sneak. Hours tries to get outside. He does. Second touchdown of this first half for Dylan Hours and the Polar Bears cash in on the North Marion interception.
Same play we saw on the first touchdown. Just get it in his hands and let him find the hole. He just kept bouncing that to the left and the outside until he got an opening. Back to that power look to the right. They run it that way. Miner gets a nice block, and he breaks free. You see the power of Miner down to the 39-yard line. To slow down Miner running it. Well, they found something with this double wing. This time it's the running back. It's Hoffman. He's loose. Hoffman to the house. Touchdown, dogs. Thirty-nine. Big ones. Boy, look up front again. Just great blocking, a big hole, and then Hoffman turns the Jets on when he gets into open field. So even with those extra safeties in the box trying to protect against the run, didn't matter. North Marion comes through. At first and 19, Whitehair is going to have to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Late pressure comes. Whitehair scrambles. Now throws late across his body. Danger comes back, makes the catch, picks up a downfield block, breaks a tackle. Danger down the sideline. Danger with no flags. Touchdown. Brody Whitehair, the magician, finds Cannon Danger on a comebacker. And he takes it for a touchdown. What a play. Mark that one down and remember it. What a great job by Whitehair to extend this play. There was great coverage on the back end, as you'll see here in the replay. Nowhere to go. Pressure coming. Whitehair does enough to keep it alive. And then a tough throw, rolling left, throwing back across his body. And then Dinger with just a big-time run after catch. What a play for the Polar Bears. Minor back to Hoffman. Huge hole again. Hoffman, stiff arm, spins away from Thornton. Hoffman delivering a blow at the 36-yard line and another first down. Miner's ready. Quarterback power. Cut back. Goal line. Shoulder down. Touchdown. Big, big score right there for the Huskies. All right, second half underway on Dinger's kickoff. It'll be Armour. From the eight. Up the middle and slung down at the 25-yard line. Go route. Little push off. Pass caught. Down at the 12-yard line. Pulled in by Landon Fry. And he didn't use the ball to the 12. Minor. Open field ahead. Miner to the 10, to the 5. Danger tackles in first and goal. North Marion at the 4. And movement. No flag. Got away with it. Hand off Hoffman. Nice block from McKee. Wow. Hoffman in. Touchdown. Huskies. Well, we've, we've mentioned Austin McKee a bunch tonight for his blocking. That might have been the best of the night right there, creating the edge, allowing Hoffman to get around the outside. We position him into a pistol set with the play clock down to five. Powers gets the carry, runs diagonal, now turns up field, breaks a tackle at the 40, he's loose. Look out. Hours, cut back, pulled down at the 36 yard line by Hoffman. Well, here's 9 of 15. He's going to run this one and he finds a way, finds a crease, and finds a First down, down at the 10. Mm -hmm. North Marion scored on their opening possession in the third. This is Fairmont's first touch in the second half. Second and goal, White here. Nice pocket. Now he runs to the outside, gets to the five, tries to lunge for the pylon. He's just short. They'll mark him at the one. And that was close. He had the ball extended in his left hand as he dove for the pylon. Uh, Powers Dawson, his lineman. They're going to go again. Back under center. Fourth and one. Hours again. This time untouched. Third time's a charm with that play as Hours into the end zone and the Polar Bears an extra point away from tying the score. Well, it's not the Philly tush push, but that's a pretty effective play down at the goal line. Get it in the hands of your best player and just let him find daylight. Lazy snap back. Martin is going to Pooch it. Dinger runs up. Muffs it. Loose ball. Huskies on it. Recovered by Dylan Higgins. 
Dinger called for a fair catch, and it went off his shoulder pad. And Higgins topples on the football, and the second turnover of the game for Fairmont Senior may prove extremely costly. What a Single coverage all alone up top. Snap, speed option, fake to Hoffman. Keep by Miner, breaks a tackle. Miner, 10, 5, dives. Huskies lead. <laughs> It's a great individual play, Travis Miner just rolling to the right, he's looking that way, gets Michael leaning just a bit to his left, puts a foot in the ground, heads back the other way for the touchdown. Nice individual run. Stand there watching his son, Dylan Hours. Receiver out wide to the right. Hours is gonna run it. North Marion knows that run's coming. Nobody's attempted to still 10 minutes plus to play in this fourth quarter. And again to Johnson. Johnson trying to get outside, breaks the tackle. And he'll step out inside the 30. It's the first weekend in December, and he's only getting stronger. And here comes the direct snap that we've seen inside the five every time. And he's got it. And he's spinning. And he is in. Fourth time tonight. For Dylan Hours. Same thing we've seen, he gets under center, they snap it, and he goes left, and he just finds the daylight, and wherever it first appears, he shoots up in. Huskies have to get all the way to the 30-yard line. Miner throws it down the center of the field, and the pass is broken Ooh. up, Black comes in. Looking for Martin, and we're gonna have a marker down on Taryn Moda on a pass interference. Motion across the formation. That's Higgins. Snap back. Oh, and it's a fake. fake. And there he goes. It's a first down for Martin. Got the block. Darren Hayes rolls the dice, and the Huskies convert. Remaining, but North Marion can stop it three times. Back to Hoffman. To the outside. Hoffman on the gas. Wow. Cuts it back. Hoffman of the Huskies. Loose in the secondary. Thornton with an angle. Pulls him down at the 27-yard line. Hoffman battling an ankle all night long. Got nicked up on the last defensive series with 517 left. Hoffman again. Cuts it back at the 20 to the 15. Hoffman touchdown. Huskies take the lead. What a drive, Travis, keeping that alive. Again, up front, you can't say enough about the North Marion offensive line and the holes they're creating up there, allowing Hoffman that great space. And again, as soon as he breaks that crust at the front, he just takes off for the end zone. So right here in the offense. Give to Alex. Looks to get outside. He does. Turns the corner. First down. Out of the 40, hit oh. by Miner in the bench area, and that'll add 15 more. Note the timeouts located behind the team's logos. Just one remaining for Fairmont Senior. Hours loose into the secondary. They'll run out of bounds down at the 14-yard line. On this one, Chad, they're not even going to motion him into position under the center. They're just lining right up underneath. Yeah, this is what we're doing, trying to stop him. And try it four straight plays, by the way. Hours spinning in again. I thought Dylan lost track there. He held four fingers up for a minute. And he thought, oh, wait a minute, that's number five. All right, again, the pressure goes on Peschel. High snap, kick is on the way. The kick is good. Excellent job by Logan Canfield. Had a nice night up around 250, but he's got a ways to go to get to that. Here's Miner on the run, trying to get a sliver. Gets outside and is run down by Michael. A possible three here. Travis, here's the power to the right with the halfback on that side. They generally go that way with it. 
Speed option. Pitch out, look out, loose ball on the pitch out. Miner tries to dive on it. He can't. It is there for the taking, and it is taken by the Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior. I think that's Brody Whitehair that got, no, excuse me, Michael in there, Travis. Michael dives on it and comes up with a game-changing fumble recovery. They ran speed option, and it was blown up from the start. Penetration started with Michael. The pitch comes out, and Taryn Boda knocks it free, and then Michael dives on the loose ball, and the Polar Bears, with 2.04 to play, have a golden opportunity to win the AA state championship right here. He just hours. Direct snap back to him again. Whitehair lined up at the running back position. He's got it. Runs to the outside. Nice push. Cuts it back. Hours trying to break a tackle has it down to the nine yard line as the clock will stop at 108. All right, hours in direct snap depth. Second and goal. He fakes it, keeps it. Hours runs in. I think North Marion let him score. Yeah, I think they did. Sixth rushing touchdown for Dylan Hours. Yep, building on his already. Super six double-a record. Yeah, and you can see the North Marion guys just stand up and back away trying to get as much time as they can for their offense to get this ball back One man rush Miner takes the snap throws underneath passes caught out of bounds at the 33 oh, and and hit a late hit. Oh. 15 on Thornton Hit Hess out of bounds Fairmont starts to bring some pressure right now. Just a four man rush. Miner's going to run it and he needs to get out of bounds. And he will shoulder his way into Thornton and get the clock stopped. Receiver screen getting outside and getting a first down is Martin. And he will also get out of bounds. Great job by Martin. All right, empty. Fairmont's not blitzed. Four man rush. Throw underneath. It's caught and. Out of bounds. You can still give up something underneath. But you're going to have to make sure you wrap up. Second and short. Miner stands in. One on one. Corner of the end zone. And the pass is oh. incomplete. Fry says he caught it. I think he did catch it. It's just a question of whether he was in bounds or not. Yeah, Watch did he his get throw. a foot in? And there's the challenge flag is out. What a catch. Oh. And he's got a foot in. He's got two in. That is a touchdown. That might be one of the most unbelievable plays I've seen. Never mind the moment that it's in. Just the fact that he caught that one-handed and got the foot down. One. That second one was out, but the first one was definitely in. Right there. Control. Remember high school, this is a pro. He doesn't have to survive the ground. I think he did anyway. I think he did. Travis, he never got that left hand on the ball till he was down. The ruling on the field has been reversed. The result, touchdown. Wow. Well, thank you, video review. And thank you, SSAC, for installing video review a handful of years ago in the Super 6. Hoffman to the left of the quarterback, Casey Miner. Two-point conversion attempt for North Marion to try to take the lead late in the championship game. High snap. Miner pulls it down. Miner runs it, and he is fighting. There is a dog pile, and he did not wow. get in. The Polar Bears get the stop. High snap back to Miner, and that busted the play. What a stand by that Fairmont senior defense. Because Miner still, even after the snap, as he got control of it, he had some daylight. It looked like he was going to close right near the end zone. You see the high snap. He makes a move. It looks like he might have a shot, and then they just stoned him. Yeah, White here line. was in there. I saw number four. We'll get another look. This was going to be a quarterback power. There's number four, White here. He sticks his nose in yeah, there right. and gets a good shot on Miner and shoves it backwards. So Darren Hayes goes for two. And the Polar Bears keep them out. They're going to review it. It's a scoring play. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. No good. All right. So the Huskies still have 
a glimpse here with 14 seconds. They have to recover an onside kick. With 14 seconds remaining, both teams out of timeouts. And Anderson's kick is going to be hit in the air and covered by ours. And how fitting is that? Yeah, so much buildup in Marion County coming into this game. And boy, did it live up to all the billing. I mean, unbelievable plays. The hug from Nick Bardick as he's got another state championship. He's on the sideline as a water boy. And one of the previous Fairmont Senior State Championship and great sportsmanship. Casey Miner left it all on the field tonight. And one of the best catches you'll ever see to put North Marion into a position to potentially win the game. And it comes up just short.